I'd like to introduce our first speaker this morning, my boss, the executive director, Torgen Holmgren. Welcome, Torgen. I'd like to leave you with a question. What is it that you wanted to be when you grew up? That was a difficult one. Well, I think I wanted to be a journalist, maybe a news anchor, and to travel the world. And uh, I guess at least some of that part I came a reality. But now, excellencies, Mayor of Stockholm, Stockholm Water Prize laureates and award winners, distinguished guests, dear friends. Welcome to World Water Week and to see this in my own hometown. I'm delighted to once again have the privilege of opening the world's most important annual meeting of water. We have so many exciting issues to discuss during this week. So actually, we started already yesterday. To arrange this week, we collaborate with a range of organizations. I would take this opportunity to particularly like to thank SIDA, the Swedish International Development Cooperation Agency, the city of Stockholm, and the German Federal Ministry for Economic Cooperation and Development for your ongoing support of the World Water Week. Thank you also to our key collaborating partners this year, OECD, the 2030 Water Resources Group, and the Water Research Commission of South Africa as well as our media partners and strategic partners for helping us making this week a success. I believe that many of you sense the kind of urgency as I do. We worked together for so many years to make a water goal part of the new development agenda. And just a few weeks after World Water Week last year, that was also decided by world leaders in New York at the United Nations General Assembly. We have also worked hard for a number of years to have water recognized in the climate convention talks. And since COP21 in Paris particularly, there is a wider recognition for the role of water in the climate change work nowadays. So now it's time to do what we spoke about for so long, to get going to start implement those decisions. Of course, for us gathered here today, the Sustainable Development Goal number six, SDG number six on water stands out, but it doesn't stop there. Without water, almost no SDG will be achieved. And water can be the enabler for progress in both Agenda 2030 and in the Paris Agreement. This will also show the power that water has as a connector it does not only connect the SDGs, it connects also countries, nations, communities, and actors. That is also one main reason why we have decided to provide the World Water Week as an annual opportunity for taking stock of the implementation of Agenda 2030 and the Paris Agreement from a water perspective. The response to this has been tremendous. Not only will we only welcome the UN Deputy Secretary General Jan Eliasson later this week to discuss this with us, but I'm also very pleased to have with us not only the current, but also the former and the incoming presidencies of the climate change talks from France, Peru, and Morocco. In addition, this week we will have the group of so-called Sherpas of the high-level panel of water, the heads of state panel of water, which was launched by UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon and the World Bank President Jim Kim in Davos this year, they will be here and meet and also use the week to get input from the broader water community. We chose water for sustainable development, or sorry, growth it is this year, development was last year, for growth uh, as the theme of this week because it encompasses the very core of our daily lives. In order to end hunger, ensure good health, build sustainable cities and fight climate change, we need reliable access to water. And wise water management is central to sustainable growth and to the overarching goal of reducing or lifting people out of poverty. But, and while we speak of global water challenges, the solutions will almost always be local. It is actually the city mayors, the city council, the local citizens, the civil society, and businesses on the ground that will bring those abstract agreements to life and make them mean something. 
Sustainable growth is something that we create together. Water should also connect people. There is an image that the water community have been dominated by men, but that is changing rapidly. We see more and more women engaged, which is especially true among the younger generations. Here at the World Water League this year, we have some 45% of women in the attendance. And if I look at the Stockholm Junior Water Prize competition, that is an even equal gender equality. We have 25 young women and 25 young men competing for the Stockholm Junior Water Prize this year. To me, these are good signs and encouraging signs, but we still have hard work ahead in empowering women and to achieve true gender equality in all aspects of water and development. Men and women, old and young, we are all in it together and we will succeed together. Finally, let me reconnect to the water heroes that we just had screened on this, on this screen. In Stockholm, we have this week the next generation of heroes. Young people from 29 countries are gathered here to compete for the Stockholm Junior Water Prize to be awarded tomorrow night. You are all united by one thing, your passion to contribute to a water-wise world. Moreover, you and your generation will 15 years from now check or assess how did we perform in making the new development agenda a reality? I just wonder what your verdict will be. And speaking of water heroes, I have one right here in front of me. We will hear from this year's Stockholm Water Prize laureate, Professor John Rose, in just a little while. And I look forward to listening to you, Professor Rose, today and during the week. Most welcome. If you had time just arriving into Stockholm to have a look through the program, you will see that this year we have an offer a smorgasbord of highly current and important topics to dive into. I sincerely hope that the discussions here at the week will inspire you, make you find innovative partnerships, think new, and act bold. So once again, most welcome to Stockholm. Thank you.